Welcome to this video tutorial about CEREC Speedfire. In this video, we guide you through the menu, including the settings and device information of the CEREC Speedfire. To begin with, we will provide an overview of the different displays on the main screen. In the center of the top of the screen, the current temperature is always displayed. From the upper right corner, you can access the settings. Next to it is the information menu which provides access to the device information area. We will look at both of these areas in more detail later. All orders that were received are displayed at the center. The newest orders appear at the very top. Older orders can be accessed by scrolling down. From the list of orders, the desired order can be identified by its material, identification number, and the order date. It is important to always select the order that was transmitted from the CEREC software or in-lab CAM software for firing a specific material type. The firing or sintering parameters that match the size and type of restoration are included with the transfer of the job. Now, the icons at the bottom left. By tapping the thermostat, the preheating function of the furnace, 400 degrees Celsius, is initiated. The preheating function speeds up the firing process, in example, the glaze firing of CEREC to CERA. The temperature of 400 degrees Celsius will be maintained for 30 minutes. Next, we tap the multi-select icon at the outer left. This allows for bundling several jobs from the job list for one firing process. By placing a check mark in the control box of the respective job, up to three jobs for single tooth restorations with the same material and firing process can be selected from the list. To initiate firing them, tap the start icon. We now disable the multi-select feature and proceed to the settings and device information menu items. First, we take a look at the device information menu. To do so, we click the icon at the outer right in the top menu bar. Here you find information about your CEREC Speedfire. This includes the serial number of the device, current furnace firmware, or the date of the last calibration. By tapping the Export Jobs icon, jobs can be transferred to a storage medium. The job archive includes new orders and those with errors, as well as completed ones. Here you have the option of permanently deleting orders or, if possible, transferring them back to the list of orders. Next, we will take a look at some options. There are a total of four status designations, namely New, Processed, Failed, and Finished. Depending on the job status, it can either be simply deleted or added to the order list again. We place a check mark next to the job with the status New and confirm by tapping the blue button at the bottom right. Jobs with the status New are new jobs that are displayed in the order list on the start screen and thus have not yet been processed. They can be deleted via the Job Archive. We return to the Job Archive Overview. The same applies to jobs with the status Processed. These are restoration orders for which a first firing process was already performed and which are now ready for a subsequent process step in the job list on the start screen, such as a glazing process to follow a prior sintering process. Jobs with the status failed include those that were aborted during the heating process. We also place a check mark here and confirm our selection. These jobs can either be sent to the job list again or deleted. We return to the overview. Jobs with the status Finished can be handled the same way as those with the status Failed before. These are jobs that were completed but have more open process steps. The Job Archive also has a Type Select feature. When this is enabled and a job is selected, only orders of the same status will be displayed and automatically selected. Thus, afterwards, the same action of either delete or add to order list can be applied to all jobs. We return to the overview and leave the device information menu. Now we switch to the settings menu. 
This area includes submenus about the network settings, service features, and more. We will take a detailed look at each of them. At the top right, the icons about your network status are displayed. At the very right, the LAN connection icon is displayed, which is in use in this case. To the left of it, the USB stick and Wi-Fi connection icons are displayed. We'll start with the LAN settings. Among other things, here you can check your IP address or modify it, or switch from static IP address to an assigned one. To go back to the overview, we click the button in the upper left. Now we switch to the Wi-Fi settings. If a Wi-Fi adapter is attached to the Serex Speedfire operating panel, the option of configuring a Wi-Fi connection is displayed. To do so, tap the button on the right. This initiates the search for available internet connections. Select the desired Wi-Fi, enter the respective password, and confirm by tapping the icon with the check mark at the bottom right. After the connection process is complete, the confirmation Connected, marked in green, is displayed below. We return to the Settings menu, where the active Wi-Fi connection is also indicated by the icon to the upper right. If no Wi-Fi adapter is connected, a message indicating that no Wi-Fi adapter was found will appear. Back in the Settings submenu, we take a look at the basic settings. Here you can modify the date, time, language, and temperature unit. For demonstration purposes, we tap the Language Selection button, and all available languages will be displayed. If desired, you can now switch to a different language. We return to the Basic Settings Overview and take a look at the temperature selection in the next step. Here you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Without making any modifications, we go back to the Overview and leave the Basic Settings area to return to the Settings Overview. Here we now take a look at the Archive Settings. In the Archive settings, you have the option to activate or deactivate the function Automatic Delete. The factory setting always has this enabled. This limits the archive storage capacity to 50 retrievable and 25 completed orders. Again, we go back, which takes us to the last menu item, Service. Service features, such as the temperature test, the log files, and calibration, are used exclusively with the support of customer service or the trained service technician. To help operators become familiar with the device, Serex Speedfire offers demo programs, which we will now explore in more detail. There are a total of five demo programs. These can be run even when no job has previously been sent to Serex Speedfire from the Serex software or the InLab CAM software. The programs are available only for dense splice Arona materials. Demo programs 1 and 2 covered the sintering process of single tooth restorations with the Serec MTL zirconia material. Demo program 1 addresses the colors A1 and A3.5, whereas the demo program 2 covers the colors A2 and C2. Demo program 3 starts the glazing process for Serec MTL zirconia. With Demo Program 4, a glaze firing for Serec to Sera restorations is initiated. Demo Program 5 covers the sintering process of Serec Zirconia Plus. We go back, leave the Service submenu, and go back further, which takes us back to the main screen. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serec Speedfire.